Welcome back to Professor Layton in the Unwound Future, Part 9. And it's quite blasphemous that I'm actually uploading a video in two consecutive days. It's amazing! Anyways, where we left off was solving that puzzle about two birds, which were awfully easy. And right now I'll go look for head coins, which is the tradition. And bleh, the hospital smell. And looks like Professor Layton wants Luke to get checked up on. Anyway, so those are the three hit coins, and let's go talk to this lady over here. Hello there. Good day, madam. Would you mind helping us with something today? Sure, I've got nothing better to do today. This place is dead. We're here to visit someone in your care. Can you point us towards room 312? Room 312. Let's see. Dr. Andrew Schneider. What? I'm sorry, but did you just say Andrew Schrader? Mind your volume, sir. You are in a hospital after all. So are you two relatives of Dr. Schrader? No, actually, I'm a former student. And your little friend here? He's, well... Dr. Schrader's pupil's apprentice. Oh, did that old 312 has quite a fan club, doesn't he? Anyways, you're going to need some paperwork first. What kind of paperwork? Oh, it's just hospital policy. Don't worry, it's just one question. Oh my goodness, another puzzle! A doctor needs to visit nine different hospital rooms. After studying the room numbers, she notices that she can visit all the rooms in one round. In order to do so, she must go into a room that has at least one shared digit with the room she's currently in. So basically, we have to find two room numbers that have uh, same, the same digits. So basically, let's start with, uh, let's say, 29. And so 29 can go to 49, because 9 is the same consecutive number. And then 4, 49 to 54, and then 54 to 65, and 65 to 63, let's say, and 63 to, let's say, 33. And 33 to 38. And then 38 is the end. Okay. No, no, no. What am I thinking? 18. 38 to 18. And then 71. Yes. So, 71 should be the correct... Should be the end, actually. And if I count... That's the first one, that's the second room, third room, fourth room, and fifth room. So the fifth room is 63. Okay, so the answer must be 63. Okay, 63 it is. Let's, Let's see if, if I've got, got this right. right. Yata! It's correct! Just as I suspect. 420 Picarats, what a lot. Correct! Room 63 is the fifth room she will visit using this unique method. And you can read the rest. I am way too lazy for... to read it out loud for you. Anyways, puzzle number 20 is in your puzzle index. Thank you so much. His room is on the third floor. Just take the stairs over there. You received the dead tree sticker. Woot woot. Anyways, let's head up the stairs. Strange, no one is here. Perhaps the reception gave us wrong. Bum bum bum. Who's that? Oh, it's you, Hush. And little Luke. Andrew? Hmm, why the quizzical look, Hush? Have I got food in my beard again? Oh, don't mind that, my boy. Sit down, sit down. You know... I've been hearing some very unsavory rumors about you recently, but I don't believe a single one of them. What sort of unsavory rumors? What sort of rumors? The ones about the, uh, the hooty was it? The the Vigamo wizard? The um, oh oh trash? I seem to have forgotten them completely. Now well, never mind all that then. Anyways, before we talk to Mr. Andrew over there, let's look for head coins. There's one. The second one is over here. Ah, fresh air. It's good to have an open window. It is, Luke. Yes, it is. Anyways, it's been a while, hasn't it, Andrew? Yes, it has. I tr 
trust you're still spending the majority of your walking hours doing research? What can I say I've learned the best? From having an office to work on has made it a lot easier, however. You've got your own office? Oh, what am I saying? You've had one for some time, haven't you? And you deserve it. I've seen my share of scholars, but you are the brightest one. Naturally! Whoops, with all this excitement, I nearly forgot to take my medicine. I got the bottle right here. Luke, be a good boy and help me figure out how much I, I can take my medicine. Puzzle worth 25 Picarats. Mr. Schrader needs to drink one-fifth of his bottle of medicine per day over a period of five days. Unfortunately, the bottle isn't marked, so there is no way of telling the dosage from it. Now it's time to take the second dose. The medicine in the bottle has been reduced, as shown in the diagram. Where should he stop drinking today? Draw a line on the bottle to mark the stopping point. So basically, I'm gonna draw a line right here, and this, believe it or not, is actually two-fifths, and the other part is three-fifths. And, and if you're really bright and everything, two-fifths plus three-fifths is equal to one whole. And so, as one square denotes one-fifth of the entire medicine, that should be correct. Hmm, how about this? And it's correct. Phew, I'm on a that's roll, really... aren't I? 40, 445 Picarats. That's right, you can turn the bottle left or right and it will still work. Looking at the diagram, you can see the diagonal line, like the one sh shown, divides the long rectangle into two and blah blah blah. Puzzle 21 Medicine Time is in your puzzle index. Anyways, you've taught this boy well. Um, yes, as I was saying, you were always the brightest, though I had another pupil. That boy was something of a whiz. And let's talk to Mr... Well, Andrew, it's been wonderful seeing you, but it's growing late. We're up to the on our way. Ah, busy as always, I see. Do drop by again. You have the time, won't you? Oh, but before you go, I have something of yours I should return. I've been looking after her for some time now, you see. Oh my goodness, it's a pair of keys! I won't be needing her anymore, so you can take her away. The old dear's parked around back. I wonder what those keys are for. I see, thank you. It was a pleasure to see you. I know you're in a bit of a hurry, so take those keys to the rear of the building. Anyways, uh, I think there's another puzzle here. Oh, here it is. Have a look at this x-ray. Hmm, do you think it's of Dr. Schrader's? I believe so, but there's something odd about it. Oh, another puzzle. Yay, 20 x-ray vision. When the doctor showed me my x-ray, he said he found the scissors they lost last week during my operation. Look, see that shape? Can you believe that? I wouldn't worry about those scissors. This is what you should really be concerned of. About, rather. What was Professor Layton referring to when he said this? Tap the answer. Uh, circle the answer and tap select. And by the way, if you don't know, if you take an x-ray of an opaque object, it will turn white, not uh, black like the other uh, things on the, th on the screen. So I believe it should be that white blotch. Um, I've got a good feeling about this one. Yes. Well, Good eye. There's a mysterious white mark in the bottom of the patient's stomach. Perhaps he swallowed a coin or something by mistake. When x-rays aren't able to pass through something solid, the object will appear as a white shadow. Uh, puzzle 22. X-ray vision is your puzzle index. That's not funny at all. Ho, oh, oh, ho, let's not jump to conclusions, Luke. It's entirely possible that he fixed the whole x-ray. If that's the case, he sure got me good. Anyways, I think we should head back to th behind the hospital. And, okay, there we go. Oh my gosh! Oh my, that is a pretty old car. Anyways, looking for hit coins. First one, and the second one, and the third one is right here. There we go. Let's... Oh. 
Yay, another puzzle. Why? This looks to be my car. I thought the same thing. Come to think of it, I've never seen anyone else with such a funny-shaped car. Funny-shaped? I'll have you know this is a classic. Judging by all the dust and dirt on it, I guess no one took care of the poor car the whole time. Dot dot dot. Yes, it does appear to have been left exposed to the elements. Why don't we see if the car still runs? If it does, we don't need the subway anymore. That's an excellent ex suggestion, Luke. What's the preference, sir? Blah. Someone installs a peculiar look. Lock. Blah. I can't talk today. Anyways. You've been given two keys to the Leighton Mobile, but there's no keyhole in which to insert them. Instead, the door is opened by entering a secret number. The secret keys are hidden somewhere. The secret number is hidden somewhere in the keys. What is it? And as you see, I can rotate the keys, but I can't see. Oh, there we go. We can move it now. And oh my goodness, what number is that? Hmm, this is so hard. It's totally worth 35 Kaikarat. It's 47 if you are that stupid. Anyways, whoops. 47 is the correct answer. I've got a good feeling about this one. There we go. Just as I suspected. 505 Pycarat. Good eye, the secret number is 47. There we are, it's finally open. Yay. Alright, start her up, Professor. What's this? The engine won't start. Well, it has been ten years since we last saw the Leighton Mobile, Professor. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a broken part or two. Hmm. Oh, look, Professor. There's something on the passenger seat. Professor, I hope that by this point you're convinced that this is the London of the future. Now that we are on the same page, I'd like to explain to you the secret that's plaguing London. However, I think it would be best to discuss this issue in person. Meet me at the Gilded Seven Casino on Flatstone Street. Casino? I'll be waiting for you there. Isn't Luke kind of under age? What do you say, Luke? Are you... Honestly, I don't know. This whole situation has me feeling very strange. That's quite understandable. Hmm. And it looks like I'll save my progress and end my let's play here. Until next time, bye bye.